<coughs> and it isn't important. I have to finish these cabinet defence papers. I'm afraid this is much more urgent, Minister. What is it? Your Christmas cards, Minister. Right. <laughs> they cannot be postponed any longer. All right. <sighs> Oh, which is which? Well, they're all clearly labelled, Minister. These you sign Jim, these you sign Jim Hacker, these Jim and Annie, these Annie and Jim Hacker, these love from Annie and Jim. <laughs> oh, those are printed and those have cyclo-styled signatures, so you needn't write anything. Uh, just check to make sure they don't include cards that should have been personally signed Jim or Jim Hacker or Jim and Annie or Annie and Jim Hacker or love from Annie and Jim. <laughs> what about those? Oh, those are the constituency cards your election agent dropped them off this morning. As you see, they've been divided up. Those you signed Jim, those you signed Jim Hacker, those yeah. Jim and Annie, those Annie and Jim Hacker, I, those... Thank you, Bernard. I think I've got the gist. Is that the lot? Apart from the ones waiting for you at party headquarters. Party headquarters? I didn't do those last Christmas. Well, you weren't party chairman last year. <sighs> do I have to send this one? Uh, why not? It's Minister? to Maurice in Brussels. He's the one who forced through the plan to standardise the Euro sausage. Euros. <laughs> By the end of next year, we shall be waving goodbye to the good old British sausage, and we'll be forced to accept some foreign muck like salami or bratwurst or something in its place. But they can't stop us eating the British sausage, mm. can they? They can stop us calling it the sausage, though. Apparently, it's got to be called the emulsified high fat offal tube. <laughs> <laughs> and you swallowed it? <laughs> it's my job to implement EEC regulations. Could finish my career. But what have they got against our sausage? Oh dear. Don't you ever read the papers you give me? Well, yes, I glanced at it, Minister, but it rather put me off. Apparently, there's not enough meat in it. The average British sausage consists of 32.5% fat, 6.5% rind, 20% water, 10% rusk, 5% seasoning, preservative and colouring, and only 26% meat, which is mostly gristle, head meat, other offcuts, and mechanically recovered meat steamed off the carcass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel I had one. I had one for breakfast. <laughs> Perhaps the EEC commissioner is right. He may be right, but it'd be extremely unpopular with the voters. Oh, well, she'll just have to grit our teeth and bite on the bullet. Uh, you can't bite a bullet if you're gritting your teeth, Minister. You see, if you do that, you can't get the bullet from the <laughs> Sorry. By the way, Bernard, you were going to advise me what presents it would be suitable to give to the private office. Uh, well, of course, that's entirely up to you, Minister. Bottles of sherry for the assistant secretaries, large boxes of House of Commons mints for the diary secretary and the correspondence secretary, and small boxes of House of Commons mints for the rest. What about my personal private secretary? Well, oh, that's me. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. What should I give you? Uh, well, you don't have to give me anything. Well, I know that, Bernard, but I'd like to. Oh, Minister, well... Anything, really. Does that? Well, really, I would like a surprise. <laughs> what sort of surprise should I give you? A bottle of champagne's the customary surprise. <laughs> what time is my meeting with Humphrey? Oh, that's been cancelled, Minister. Sir Humphrey had to rush away to an urgent meeting with the Cabinet Secretary. The Cabinet Secretary? This makes me feel rather nervous. You know, in some ways, Sir Arnold is the most powerful chap in the country. Permanent access to the PM, controls cabinet agenda, controls access to everything. I wonder what he's up to.